All right, we're going to start today. If you have a Spark Story Bible, go ahead and grab it. We'll actually be reading a couple of stories out of it. I've been told there might be another page number in some versions. I looked online and I know there's a blue version that has fewer stories yeah, we all do than that. this, but that's our, yeah. this is the one that most people have. So the page numbers I say are for this one. So we're going to start on page 499, the Ascension. sticky note is in there so I can actually read the words. After Jesus died and rose again, he and his disciples got together near Jerusalem. Jesus had some instructions for them. As you know, God is doing amazing things in the world, he said, and your help is needed. We need you to go tell stories about me. Tell your friends and family and everyone you meet what you learned by following me. Be my witnesses in the world. Then suddenly Jesus was rising up in the air. What was going on? He was being lifted up into a cloud. Jesus' friends looked around. Two men in white robes had joined them. The men said, why are you just standing around looking up toward heaven? Don't worry, Jesus will come back someday. Right, said one of Jesus' disciples. Meanwhile, we have some work to do. Let's get going. Today is Ascension Day, and according to memes on Facebook, the best way to describe Ascension Day in today's language is, it's the day when Jesus started to work from home. And I can't believe that with it being Ascension Day, that means we are on day 40 since Easter. So 39 days since we celebrated Easter in a new way. In a way, it seems so long ago, and yet it doesn't seem like it's been that long. And we're just over a week until we're at Pentecost. In our Sunday Gospel readings the past couple of weeks, we've been hearing about Jesus' post-resurrection and talking to his disciples and all these different things and his visits. And we have heard about the coming of the Holy Spirit. But I'm going to focus in on the little extra piece that's added to the story in the corner. It says, ask an adult who loves you to tell you a story about Jesus. Then you tell them a story. I wonder what story you would tell. There's so many great stories of Jesus. Would you tell the story of Jesus walking on the water? Or maybe some of you turn to Jesus at the wedding in Cana, turning water into wine. We have Jesus, the storyteller, telling parables and teachings. Maybe we could talk about the different teachings of Jesus. I know that we cannot tell stories and share stories in the same way, but I still encourage you when talking to family members or friends, to maybe ask them what their favorite story is, or if you're on Facebook, you can always just share a story on there. But I'm going to read another story from the Spark Story Bible. As I was looking through and just getting ideas of what are stories we could tell, there was one that I read that I felt perfectly fits where we are today. It fits into what is happening in the world and with the pandemic, but my guess is it can also fit into our everyday life as we go, are physically distanced from others, and at the same time, parts of our life still go on. So the story I'm going to share is found on page 409. It is called, God's Love is Forever. One day, Jesus was standing near the temple, listening to people talk about the building. Ooh, look! One said, it's decorated with beautiful stones. Another replied, oh, wow, look at the fancy things. 
Jesus told them about God. One day all of these things will be gone, he said. This temple won't last forever, but God's love will. Even when there is trouble, God's love will be strong. People might tell you things that aren't true about God. Don't listen to them. The people gasped. Jesus continued, scary things will happen. Storms and other events. You could probably add pandemics. Will make you feel afraid. Don't worry. God is always with you. The people smiled, happy to know that God would be with them forever. We hear today that Jesus ascended into heaven, that he went to work from home. However, we also hear that we have not been left alone here. Please pray with me. This is a prayer from St. Francis of Assisi. Lord, help me to live this day quietly, easily. To lean upon thy great strength, trustfully, restfully. To wait for the unfolding of thy will, patiently, serenely. To meet others, peacefully, joyously, to face tomorrow confidently, courageously. Amen. Now for some announcements. It's with a heavy heart and a hope in the resurrection that we share that Phyllis Muir has joined the Saints Triumphant. We hold Walt and all the family in our prayers. We also continue to hold Bill, Ludwig, Linda, Sue, and Kathy and family in our prayers. We pray for John Hopman recovering from foot surgery at home and for Judy Trump's parents who are going through a difficult time. Please hold Judy, her parents, and their family in your prayers. In regards to what events we have going on, 6.15 tonight is Sarah's choir. 7 p.m. on Saturday night will be a campfire with songs led by Rosalie Bruner with a devotion led by Pastor Jen. This will be a Zoom event, which means you need to email Pastor Jen to get the link to join. Is there a deadline to email you, Pastor Jen? Um, probably uh, Saturday at noon. Okay. Thanks. Email Pastor Jen by Saturday at noon and Sunday service at 9 a.m. If you know a friend or neighbor who would benefit from these live streams, share them. They're for all. Let us join now in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now receive this blessing. Neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. God, the Creator, Jesus the Christ, and the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, bless you and keep you in eternal love.